10,000 feet is a good place to, good altitude to start a vlog from, right? I think so. So we're in Santa Fe and uh, we're hiking up this trail. We're gonna go do some landscape stuff and some adventure stuff. And Tristan has come much more prepared this time than last time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's snow. It's October. And it's 37 degrees. It's what? 37. Are you sure? All right, Tristan says it's 37 degrees. It's kind of warm though. Maybe that's just me. All right, let's keep hiking. curse of being a photographer is that anyone you hike with will leave you. They're gone. <laughs> My own kid has abandoned me. But I got the shot. I think. It's kind of cloudy today. It's patchy, which is cool. But if I want to get the light, you got to wait around for the light to hit like just the spot that I want on just the trees that I want. So I end up waiting. That's all right. I'm used to it. Now let's go see if I can find them. I found him. You abandoned me. I did not. I found a Master Shifu staff. A Master Shifu staff? Mm -hmm. That's why you abandoned me? For sticks, maybe. For sticks. That's why. <laughs> One kid and there was snow. Look at all that. Snow. What's today's date, Tristan? It's the 10th, I think. October 10th. And there's snow in Santa Fe at 10,000 feet. This is a good spot right here for a vista, for a semi-wide shot, maybe a medium. I'm gonna set up right here. So we got some nice, you can see the snow just up there with the colors, perfect. Time lapse set up through the 5D Mark IV. What I say, medium. So uh, yeah, we're at like 90 millimeters shooting that. We got the frost cover, we got the clouds. No filters because the light turned gray enough to where it's pretty even. And uh, if anything goes wonky, I can fix it. But uh, F7.1, 200th of a second, ISO 100, beautiful. So I'm time lapsing and I see there's layers, right? So you can see the yellow and the green aspens down there, and then you can see the dead aspens, and then there's one big pine tree sticking out of, um, in the middle of all the dead aspens, and then above that, there's a little patch of yellow aspens, and then above that, the frost line hits for the snow, and there's like three distinct layers with this one tree sticking out, and this is what I'm talking about, having that long, uh, having that long telephoto lens, and I think I'm at a little more than 200 millimeters, with that to get the layers. So I just pulled out the 400 again to shoot that and a beautiful, absolutely so cool. I love seeing layers like that. Oh, and now the light's hitting, now the light's lighting up. So I might try one more and get some different light. Path shots. Path shots are always good. That's a stock photography tip. Path shots are cool for anything, but if you ever want to get into stock photography, all of my path shots do really well. You know, stuff like that. It's great. With a person, without a person, just find a cool path, take cool shots of it, put it up on stock. There you go. I found a little waterfall. Nothing to take pictures of, but uh, it's fun for some B-roll. And look at all the beautiful snow right here. This is fantastic. All 
All right, so I mentioned stock photography, so I figured this would be as good as time as any to give you some tips. So tip number one, these aren't necessarily in order, but that was path shots. Path shots are always really good. Hand shots are really good too. Some of my most popular selling stuff are like shots that Brittany took of her hands or my hands or something, just dorky, and we were just like, well, put them up. So serious tip. Get first things first. If you have a family, friends, whatever, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, kids are great. I got one and he's fantastic for this stuff. Just go online, go to like Adobe's stock page. They have free model releases. Make sure you get yourself a model release, get one for your family. And then anywhere you go and you shoot something, you know, people, stock photography with people always does great. So especially families and stuff or couples or, you know, whatever. All that stuff is fantastic. So get a model release and get them to sign it. They're free on all the major websites. Uh, I use Adobe Stock, Shutterstock. Uh, Brittany, what else do we use? Oh, Storybox. Yeah, we use Storybox too. So those are the ones that I use the most. I definitely get the most traffic and the most sales off of Adobe. Uh, and Adobe and Shutterstock give you both, I think 20% but uh, Storyblocks gives you, well, they did give you 100%. What do they give you now? 50%, but they're working on new algorithms to get more sales. So I really love Storyblocks. I don't like the back end of Shutterstock, um, but they're getting better. And I do have a decent amount of sales from them, but mostly Adobe and Adobe is easy. Adobe and Shutterstock both give you keyword algorithms to help you uh, keyword and they do keyword generators so that's really nice another tip don't use any brands so if there are brands in the shot like if your clothing has a brand or you know whatever if you're just uh, photoshop them out so or you know turn your shirt inside out or something or try to shoot at an angle where you can't recognize the brands or anything like that because they'll hit you they won't they won't accept anything with recognizable logos Another thing that does really well for this kind of stuff is lifestyle. So active lifestyle, like I said, if you have friends or family that are cool with the model releases, like just natural lifestyle stuff with, you know, them hiking and just naturally smiling and not, not forced, not forced poses and stuff like that. It's, a, it's a, just a big call for natural, organic stuff like that. All right, so we're back to the car. Uh, nice little few mile hike there up at 10,000 feet. So obviously there's a lot more you could, uh, that I could talk about for stock photography and I'm sure I'll do more. Uh, but I think that's a good starting point for, uh, you know, some basic tips. Those are my tips on photography, for st on uh, stock photography. So I'm gonna wrap it up here and go get some amazing Santa Fe happiness food with lots of green chili. So, uh, if you like this stuff, make sure you hit subscribe. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you have any comments or questions about anything that I didn't cover about stock photography that you want to know about, leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.